guys so a couple months ago I did a video called how to seduce a man and that video did really really well so today I'm going to be doing the opposite this is for all of you guys watching but I'm sure this could help a lot of girls out too and if you're a girl watching this let me know if I'm like right on the money or if you disagree with any of the things I said or if you have any advice that you want to share with the guys watching this video I'm gonna be going step by step on how to seduce a woman and if you are a guy watching this and there is a certain girl in your life or if there's a certain girl on YouTube named Sapanka that you maybe want to seduce I'm gonna give you guys some really great tips and tricks and if the girl has any interest in you at all using some of these techniques may just put her over the edge into like wanting to date you slash maybe get intimate with you I went over this in my how to seduce a man video but I'm gonna say it again please make sure you are seducing somebody that wants to be seduced because there is nothing more awkward and painful than trying to seduce somebody who clearly does not want to be seduced and yes it can lead into some really sketchy territory like sexual harassment so let's just not go there so if this girl that you were trying to seduce is clearly giving you signals that she is not interested like not making any eye contact giving you dirty looks or like trying to hide from you in a corner you need to back away, sir. A lot of you might also be like, oh my God, Stephanie, this is so fucked up. You're basically trying to teach men how to get inside women's pants. And first of all, some women don't wear pants. Some women wear dresses. To seduce somebody doesn't always mean to get into their vagina. Sometimes it means to attract powerfully. And I'm hoping that a lot of guys would much rather get to know a woman first and like seduce her mentally than to just, you know, get his dick wet but I could be wrong so the first step on how to seduce a woman is to just listen it's so so simple I have been on so many dates where the guy I am with just does nothing but talk about himself and his money and his car and all this other shit girls we like to feel special we like to kind of feel like we're the center of the universe sometimes so if you just listen and act like you are so fucking interested in our fucking cat that died last month like that is automatically going to win you points nothing is hotter to me than when I'm like going off about Frank my dog showing him a million pictures and he's just they're like oh your pug is so cute Wow that's a great dog I bet you're a great mom tell me more about that and then I go off on like a three-hour tangent about why I'm the best dog mom in the world but if he's there listening to me and acting like he unconditionally cares Here's my vagina. Another thing that kind of goes hand in hand with listening is asking lots and lots of questions. If you seem very interested in her life and want to get to know more about certain things in her life, even things that most guys would generally not find interesting. Like if your girl's into knitting, ask her some questions about knitting. And no, don't ask her to knit you boxer briefs. Ask her like, How'd you get into knitting? Tell me more about knitting. I don't know, this is a bad example because knitting's fucking boring. Next step, and I mentioned this in my how to seduce a man video, but appearance. Now guys, I'm not saying you have to dress up and make yourselves look gorgeous and have like perfect hair and perfect eyebrows. In fact, I am the kind of girl that actually prefers my men to be less groomed and like a little bit rugged. I'm a huge fan of the beard trend. I don't like guys that look like they spent more time on their appearance than I did, but I know some girls do, so I can't cannot generalize because every single girl is different but all I'm gonna say is look presentable you know maybe just like look like you've showered and this is gonna bring me into my next thing I know I just said that I'm like really really into beards and as you guys know my boyfriend Anwar has the most beautiful beard in the world but lately his beard has been looking a little unkempt so I decided to get him this really amazing beard brush and for all you ladies who are looking for a cute gift for your man for the holidays or if you're a guy who really wants to just like step your beard game up I really really recommend this beard brush and it comes in this really really awesome packaging it is honestly such a gorgeous brush I think any guy who is trying to grow his beard out or has a beard really really needs to add this into their daily routine just like a quick little brush in the morning or before you go out and it really does make the difference I've seen some guys with really really sick beards but they just like look so messy and I just like want to just help them out a little bit so the handle is made out of wood these are what the bristles look like it's very very good quality and I also like the little touch of adding the little tiny brush right here so if you have like a mustache you can use that as well now this board brush is made by the company Marbian and I will be leaving all of the information for it in the description box below so definitely go check it out I think it's a really really great gift idea but yes 
appearance. No girl wants a messy looking man because a messy looking man probably has a messy looking life as well. Next up is B kind of manly. Now I'm not saying like you have to start doing like hundreds of push-ups and get super muscular and like lift things for your lady even though that is really awesome. I actually had my boyfriend move my air conditioner out of my window the other day and that was very nice of him and I kind of wanted to bang him like after he did that. I was like damn watching you lift that air conditioner. <laughs> wow that's really all it takes with me. Women like to feel like they have support and like they have someone kind of like protecting them and like looking out for them and I know this like sounds so 1950s like I know I know we don't need a man to protect us but like feeling protected makes us feel good. One thing I've noticed that my boyfriend does that I think is really, really great is when we're walking down the street, he likes to be the one that's on the outside and it's so old fashioned, I know, but little things like that that show he's a gentleman and he wants to protect me really, really do make the difference. And I feel like if you guys don't do that, you know, maybe start doing that and see if it changes the dynamic in your relationships with women. Okay, so the next thing is gonna be contradicting what I just said. I know I said you have to be manly and protective and strong, but also don't be afraid to show a sensitive side. Have a nice balance because as much as I do love it when a guy is all macho and strong and acts like he's fearless, it is nice to see like a more soft and squishy side to men. Sounds weird. Don't be like a total emotional train wreck all the time, like crying on your girl's shoulder, but like, you know, open up a little bit. Girls also like seeing you be vulnerable in front of them because it makes them feel like you trust them and that you're comfortable around them. And the last thing that I'm going to tell you guys to do, and it's a little bit controversial because girls kind of fucking hate this, tease them a little bit. Be a little bit of a dick. Don't be just completely 100% easy to get. It is a little bit of a game in the beginning and I think that sometimes even though girls say that they're not into the whole game and that they want someone who's gonna be upfront and honest with their feelings. You know, at the end of the day, we may say that, but I think that we do like a little bit of a challenge. We do like to go a little bit crazy, even though it's fucking annoying at times, like it is still kind of exciting. Sometimes the longer we have to wait for a text, the more excited we get when we receive it. Now I'm not saying wait like five hours to text back, but you know, keep her on her toes just a little bit. Don't ignore her. Don't ghost her. I'm just saying don't text her constantly. Leave a little bit to the imagination. Let her wonder where you are. Just don't make yourself easy. That's all I'm really trying to say. So yeah, those are all of my tips on how to seduce a woman. Like I am really, really convinced that these are some really awesome ass tips. And if you follow these, you are going to go far, my friends. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I want to know your feedback, whether you're a guy or a girl. And if you have any questions for me, also let me know in the comment section. I'll try to answer as many as I can. Make sure to go check out the beard brush. I'll leave it in the description box below. And to like this video, subscribe to my channel by clicking the subscribe button and the little bell next to it because you'll join my notification squad and that makes you cooler some shit. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye!